In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a login page like this one. We have username and password as the user enter incorrect password. It will display an error message. And if the password and username is correct match, it will redirect to the product page. So in Akshore, I have this login page not yet built, except for the navigation. So I'm going to first add a label for the username and password. Next, I'm going to add two text fields for the user input. You can resize the text fields as well. For the text field, I like to add some hint of what for the users um, to enter. So there's a nice Akshore feature called hint in the property here. And we like to display in a different um, font color Rather than black, I choose a deep um, gray. And then the, I want to hide the hint after the user focused on the text field so that it doesn't interfere with uh, their entering their text. One more thing is that I like to give a name to the text field so that we know later uh, when we add the interaction to which element. So this is suggested for all the elements usually um, that needs interaction in a form. So this one is password. Text. Also in here for the password text field, I like to add, choose the password type. So what this does is when the user enter letters, it actually shows as the black dots, just as the usual password, you will see the effect on all the websites basically for security reason. And I like to enter the hints as well. And the focus and the hint style to be dark gray. So now I need a submit button. And um, I'm gonna also need an error message, so I use uh, I can use a label or text box. So we can use a label. Let's see. Word, username, and password. Please try again. Now you can. Um, decorate it however you want to for the style. For example, if you want it to be red font, a little bit bigger, you can do so as well. Now, another thing we want to do is to give it a name. Also, in the style up here, we want it to be hidden because when the page first loads, we don't want to show the error message because the user hasn't entered anything yet. Now lastly, we want to program this submit button so that uh, when we click on it, we can measure the value of the username and password with uh, uh, the preset um, text. So on click, I would like to add a condition text on the widget of, so now it shows the benefit of naming it. So I know the username is what I'm dealing with. I want the value to make sure to be admin. And I add, I can add another password to be bike. So as you uh, set this up, you can see that in the description, uh, it automatically, automatically builds the logic click OK. And 
one more thing to do is if the condition fulfills, we would like to do what? We would like to open up a link, which is the product page in the current window. Okay. So now we need to handle if the condition is not met. So we click on on click one more time to add a case to automatic by default it's like else if true then we want to show the error message okay so you can see the logic being built for the interaction and okay, let's test it out so the great hints shows as I focus and the hints disappeared if I enter the correct password it will show the error message and if I correct it it passed the login and brings me to the um, product page so similarly you can use method to create a um, web form such as the contact us form here and have the required field built. So for example, if I match the name and email field to be like empty, then I'm going to show the error message that name and email are required. And then if um, user enter anything, and anything, or you can further um, define the um, credentials matching but this is basically it and um, radio buttons checkbox drop down list and a text field and when you submit it will show a different thank you for submitting message so back in the Azure the setting goes to um, these two boxes will be named as name and email and back in the button, you can see that require field not filled if text on the email equals empty and text on name equals empty. Uh, I also want to hide the thank you message because I have two messages. You know, when there's error, I want to hide the thank you, um, especially for the case that like the user enter again. And then if else if true, then hide the error message and display the thank you message. You can see my thank you message and error message here kind of overlapping so they appear about the same location uh, one more thing to point out because I'm using the radio buttons here in this form uh, when you drag and drop the radio button they're not associated so but in actual websites whenever we use the radio button we would like users to choose only one from the group so how do we do this from Axure is that you can highlight all the buttons belong to the group and assign a group number it can be as simple as just like one or whatever you would like to enter the text for so that one makes the effect that user click one and then you would deselect the other one um, check boxes is just like by default you can check multiples that that's not a problem for drop down list you can also double click to add more elements if you want to um, add or delete once you don't want to for example and um, text area you can adjust the length of it or not um, and that's it for the web forms for both logging and contact us what you can do with Azure in prototyping